is up everyone, it's Cassie from Jeep Gear and Gadgets and today we're going to be putting the wheels and the tires on the LJ. Now I know I've been promising rock lights for a long time now, I just could not catch a good weekend with weather here in Virginia. The rain is non-stop and it comes into the carport on the ground and I don't want to get down there and put rock lights in, so I'm not going to. Besides, we need to get the wheels and the tires out of our carport. It is already filled up with enough junk as it is and the sooner I can sell the old tires and wheels, the sooner I get cash to buy more mods to put on the LJ. Let's go check out those tires and wheels though. We decided to go with the steel at gray for the wheels. I think it'll look better than black or even a lighter silver color because the LJ already has enough black on it in my opinion and the steel at gray will give it a good contrast. Now Ben got started on it this was project. A rock. I stepped on a rock. It went sure. Okay. No, I stepped on a rock. Ben decided to get started on this earlier today and thought it'd be funny to put the spare 40 on the LJ and I kind of like what it looks like, I'm not going to lie. Think it's funny. I think it it's doesn't. Serious. If it wasn't for the Dana 30 up front, you know? Well, I feel, why don't you go ahead and take it off? I feel like the axle's going to bend just looking at it. Probably. The ball joints too. Man, <laughs> that looks sick though. There's Maybe. actually more room than I thought. I mean, I don't know how much we could turn, but dude, that's some serious goals right there. Maybe one day. In order to run JK wheels on our Jeep, we had to get an inch and a quarter adapters. We went with an inch and a quarter because it'll stick the wheel out just enough for our liking and it won't cause any rubbing issues. Now, depending on what wheel you go with will depend on what uh, size adapter you get. So make sure you do your research on that because if it sticks out too far, it'll cause some wear and tear on the axle components and if not, it'll just look silly. The issue with the inch and a quarter adapter is that we have to trim the studs because the studs stick out too far. Uh, ben has already cut a couple of them, but we wanted to show you cutting one of them. Okay, I can't see anything. So we see how this one sticks out too much. Ben already cut these other ones, for, and that, so they're uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Leave it on. Okay. So if they stick out too far, you can't mount your tire. Then. Easily, I'm not going to overcomplicate it. So now we're going to show you how to cut it off and make it flush. All right, so I'm going to let Ben talk you through a little bit of this part. I've never actually done it before, and I would probably give you the wrong information. All right, so when you cut your studs, it's really, really simple. You're going to grab your new spacer, put it on, and see how much you need to cut off. So we just want it flush. We don't want to take off more than needed. In this case, one, two, three, I only need to take off about three threads. So what we're gonna do first is grab the nut that came in our wheel spacer, or came with the wheel spacer, and go ahead and thread it onto the stud. Zap it on there. And the reason behind that is so after we make the cut, when we back the nut off, it cleans up the threads. That way, you know, if one got damaged from the cut, it's gonna be really easy. The nut's gonna kind of reshape those threads back. And at this point, go ahead and get your grinder and your glasses and just cut straight down right on that third thread or whatever you measured. Make sure you're not chopping up anything else, but like right here, just cut off about three threads. Cassie really wants to do this. I do not know if I should give her a grinder. Um, you want to do it? I mean, I think I'm pretty trustworthy with the grinder. If you mess this up, if you mess it up, you can always take it off and press new studs in, but uh, I'm not doing that. I got other stuff to do. So if you mess this up, you're, uh, you're changing the studs. Hmm. I'm going inside and drinking beer. So at this point, we've threaded it on and off a couple of times, and we are ready to take it all the way off and get those adapters on so we can throw the wheels on. The cut actually isn't that bad. It's better than that one. It's, I know. this. So this this one is horrible. I tried using a Sawzall at first, and that did not work at all. Don't use a Sawzall. But actually, I think Cassie's cut is one of the best actually on there. Dang. Okay. Dang. All right. We have a lot more to do. <laughs> Lots more to cut. Time to put the adapter on. Now you need red or blue Loctite. We don't have red right now, so we're gonna go with blue. Red is more permanent and recommended. We might throw some on there in a couple weeks when we get some. For now, we're gonna put blue, put a little stripe down each of the studs. Whoop, that was wet. What was that? Meow. And then put the nuts on. Cone goes in.
Now I need to torque it down to about 90 to 100 foot pounds. You will need someone to hold the brake and that's what this guy is for. And make sure you do it in a star pattern. I already did one, so I'm gonna keep going. Of course we have lost a lug nut. Anybody else ever lose screws, bolts, lug nuts? Dude, where did it go? Having a carport this color is literally the worst part because everything blends in. For the record, it's gone. Ben lost it, not me. It's gotta give up. Well, that's not an option. <laughs> Where was it? It was in the garage. I didn't ah. put it there. I did not put it there. All right, go and put the go put your tires on. This is gonna be the funny part. <laughs> No, I can't do that. It's not that heavy. It's only like what? Oh. Yeah, but you're already dirty. Why don't you do it? I'm not dirty. You're you got it, babe. Clean. Let's see. Cassie from Jeep Gear and Gadgets putting on a 35. 20 bucks says you can't do it. 20 bucks? 20 bucks. That's all you're going to give me if I get this? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is this? Yeah. Why, would I, why would I give her money for putting her own? No. Uh-uh. Putting her hair up. Serious business yeah. now. <laughs> Serious. Oh, do it with a 40. You'll learn the best way. Not yep. gonna give me anything. Nope. I'll I give you like, something. I feel like when I watch you do it, you always just like pick it up from here or you're like I do it from the side. Lumping it. You got it. Lump it. Lump it real good. Oh, this thing is so heavy. No way. Oh, oh. How do you think I put the 40 on there? I I'll pay you twenty dollars. Deal. <laughs> Deal. We have the first tire torqued down on the Jeep and ready to go. Let's check it out. Now, I am really a huge fan of these tires. These Yokohamas look so much better. They look beefier. I know they are quieter on the road as well. And as for the wheel, I like to steal it gray on the wheel before putting it on, but now that it's on the Jeep, I'm not sure I'm sold on the gray on this Jeep anyway, since there is so much black. I didn't want there to be too much. Uh, what do you guys think? Tell me, do you think black should have gone with black? Am I gonna regret this decision and paint them a week from now? or do you think the gray looks better? We're gonna go ahead and throw the other three on so we can pull the Jeep out and get an actual look at it. We didn't realize on the back, Dana 44, the studs are a little smaller. So we don't even have to grind these studs off. Look at this. They're flush. Look at all the work that saves us. Oh, that is so nice. nice. It's a lifesaver. Yeah. Power tank's gonna win. And it's not just seat the bead, you gotta seat the bead and then get them up to 30 PSI. 30 PSI. So let's see, I got like yeah. a 25 gallon tank in there, it's set up to like 120 PSI. Let's see who wins. Okay. Yeah, we already sprayed them down with soapy water, so we're good to go. Ready? No. no. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Set. Go. No! What? Oh, mine's stuck. Hold up. Holding. What in the world? Stuck. The ARB. The lever thing? Yeah, the, the plunger stuck. What? I would have already. Used little plunger right here stuck. It's bending. Holy crap. I gotta go fix it. So, what happened? What happened has that the ARB, this little plunger right there, it's not going in and it's just bending that tab. Ben breaks everything. So, I don't know what's up with that. I took this plug off and it looks like it's pretty corroded up in there, as you can tell. A little bit not too bad but i'll have to take this apart and fix it that really sucks i was looking forward to this i guess we'll just use the uh power tank it is the power tank on one we'll time it and then do the other i was looking forward to doing this do a little friendly competition on your mark get set go we're at 30 seconds <laughs> Every time. <laughs> oh, one one minute for it to seat the bead. We still have another. That, that was the underbeat. Under. <laughs> Keep going. What are we at? Twenty six. 
26 PSI. We're at a minute and 15. 29.2. A minute 25. Now let's do it with the old school air compressor and see how long it takes. All right, 30, 29.9. It is You are on the air. One on your mark, get set, go. colors black the grays the green greens greens <laughs> yeah the reds together and i think now i could paint the hood louver black because there's not so much black on the jeep so i think that's the color choice i'm going to go with what do you guys think should i have gone with black wheels or the steely gray wheels i think it looks taller too i mean the wheels that we had on here uh earlier were 16 inch these are 17 inch wheels and the tires i think it just makes it look taller it's probably like because the wheels are bigger, it makes it look a little taller. I don't know, and but it definitely it does. Hubcaps. It looks, yeah, and this, yeah. <laughs> hubcaps. Yeah, I hope we don't have hubcaps. Yeah, we're missing the center caps. So if anybody <laughs> knows, if anybody knows of a good spot to order uh, center caps for a Mickey Thompson uh, classic tire, holla. But yeah, it definitely does. It looks like it's a lot more lifted. I think it's the contrast and the different, like sidewall ratio i don't know but it looks good it looks good i like it i think it was a good choice i think the steel at gray was a good choice that's it the tires are on this video is pretty much wrapped up let me know what you think about the steel at gray or if i should have gone with the black put it down in the comments also my very first video i talked about getting the hood louver painted black or red i think i'm gonna go with black i think it'll mix it up enough and it won't show too much black ben's giving me the head nod so i gotta go give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys later